And the dog to the right was a casting on top of that form. So to build that form, I start with a silhouette of the dog in a flat piece of cardboard. And then a little bit like a cat scam, I do um, perpendicular cross sections of that dog in cardboard. Maybe it's more like boat building than cat scan. And then I just lay strips over it and use crushed paper and build it up until it becomes a solid form. And um, plastic is what keeps the uh, paper mache cake from sticking to the baking pan. So you could put plastic over anything and paper mache over it, let it dry, and remove that casting. And you'd have a lightweight hollow form that's a copy of the solid form. So that cut that you're seeing right there, I put three layers of cardboard paper, paper mache over that, I let it dry, I take a utility knife, I cut a seam, I pry it open, and then tape up the um, seam. If I pick up this dog, you can still see inside it, maybe if your camera will pick that up, that there's a, a line where it was cut open. Mm -hmm. And then there's no sense in casting detail parts because it would make, it wouldn't be a clear casting and it, it um, it would just be too labor intensive to go around the small stuff. So the ears are cardboard that's been applied after that casting is dry. The eyelids, the collar, the teeth. Um, and the nice thing about these forms is once you've done a casting, it's not much work to alter that form if you want to do multiples. You could do identical multiples of a casting or you can alter them in between. Like those poodles over there came off of the same casting. But if you look at the shapes of their noses, it was originally a narrower form in the nose. And I knew I wanted two poodles, but I wanted the third dog to have a different shaped nose. So, you know, part of the game of mud butts is trying to do as m much volume as possible in less than three weeks. So um, some of it's time cutting stuff. That grandma spider costume that's sitting there, that's also a form, that, or at least the the back end of the spider is a casting off of that form. And we've saved the dog and that form for years because they were forms that looked like they would get used again. Um, we used that form back when Mudbutts did the Ramayana. Uh, there were three white ants that looked kind of like this costume, but they were six-legged rather than eight-legged. Um, and without the grandma shoes, because what you're looking at is grandma spider. Uh, we try to figure out a recipe for what creates variety and a spectacle on stage. So there are certain costumes that are really time consuming or certain masks that are really time consuming. And then some of them are things in multiples because that's a nice way to um, fill the stage as well. Um, so these are helmets that are spiders and they're wearable. I don't know if this one will fit me. It won't. How about this one? Ah. More or less. Um, we've got some nice movement on these because the uh, middle of the leg there is some sort of plastic tubing that I guess wires go into from the hardware store. And then they're extended with a little more paper mache. I mean, that's a pretty darn tedious thing to have to make in paper mache, but when you know that you're going to get a lot of um, impact by doing all that extra work and you can envision that before the object's made, then you go for it. So, um, so we do.